The Munchkins are the largest group of people represented on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. So the Munchkins appeared in L. Frank Baum's book, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, in the year 1900. Now, L. Frank Baum described them as in all blue because Munchkin Land was the blue quadrant. But clearly, in the 1939 film version, they are in Technicolor, lots of color. Look at all that color. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. <laughs> Most of the Munchkins were hired by Leo Singer. He was the proprietor of Singer's Midgets. Yes, that's what it was called back then. Um, a bunch of them were cast from all across the land, and about 120 of them came out to Hollywood. It was reported that Toto made more than an individual munchkin. Hmm. Now, they loved being on set. They were treated very nicely by Judy Garland. They said she was a regular teenager. They said Billy Burke was a bit standoffish, but she did have that big giant dress. But the nicest person, they said, was Margaret Hamilton, who played the Wicked Witch of the West. Let's look at one of the Munchkins, the coroner. His name was Meinhardt Robbie from Wisconsin. And uh, after he graduated from college, it was hard for him to find a job, but he got a job as a uh, salesman for Oscar Mayer. And shortly after, he got cast as a Munchkin and went out to Hollywood. The reason I bring him up is that he was the great uncle of my good friend Maddie. Shout out to you, Maddie Hines. Now, when he returned, he actually starred as the spokesperson for Oscar Mayer as Little Oscar, the world's smallest chef. He even got to ride in the very first Wienermobile. How jealous am I of that? Uh, he did also write a book on his experience of being a munchkin. In 2007, Meinhard Robbie, along with six of his pals, were the last surviving members of the munchkins, and they appeared here on Jimmy Kimmel Live. This is Todd Pickering for Walk of Fame Wednesday. I will see you next week in Hollywood. Bye-bye.